When are people going to get by all the help he needs? I mean, the man is crying out for help. He's naming his next album Suicide Spell Backwards. He's on social media saying he wants to kill himself and hurt people. He's having bouts of rage. When is somebody going to take Bow Wow, sit him down with a therapist, sit him down with a counselor, spiritual advisor? Like, what's the problem? He yeah, needs some help. He's, he's, he's clearly got some help. He definitely does. The event that he was at was a party for the I don't, I don't feel as though I'm crazy. I, like, I, I just feel as though I'm misunderstood. And it's that simple. That's the best way I could possibly put it. I don't feel like... I mean, there's been times in my life where I've battled certain demons and things like that, but I mean, I don't think I'm crazy. Not at all. A long shot. I think a lot of times people can mistake craziness for your passion. You know, I remember talking to Puff, and Puff looked me in my eyes and he asked me a question. I thought it was a trick fucking question. He goes, Are you crazy? And I didn't really know how to answer it. And I'm looking at him like, uh, I don't know, I guess. And he's like, nah, nigga, you are crazy. But he explained it in such a way that it was like, damn, you're right. And, it, and, and we were talking, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm just over-passionate about what I do. And I tend to uh, over-love what I do. It's like, the money don't mean nothing to me. Everything that comes with being famous doesn't really mean nothing to me. I'm really searching for peace, love, respect, and just a piece of fucking mind. Like, I'm tired of waking up every day. Like, there's times where I'll be in the studio just chilling, minding my business, and, like, my boys that hit me, like, yo, you're on this or you're on that. And I'm like, dog, I didn't even do nothing. And, like, motherfuckers just tend to just fuck with me. And then the moment I, I erupt or the moment I go crazy on a motherfucker, I'm looked at as the bad guy, you know what I'm saying, like, every time, and it's like, it's just only so much that a nigga can take, it's only so much that I'm gonna let people play with my name, play with my brand, and just fuck with me, like, don't get it fucked up, I'm still a rapper, I'm still human, I make mistakes, I'm gonna continue to make mistakes, I'm, I'm a, I'm a process, you know, I haven't even reached my potential yet, I'm, I'm, I'm a working, I'm a working not even progress, but I'm a working process. Like, I'm a process, and I'm, I'm working. People don't understand how hard this shit is. Like, being famous since a kid, and, like, never lost a step. Like, I hear motherfuckers say this and that about me. Like, I hear everything. Like, I hear everything that people say about me. I read everything. I've read everything. And does it hurt me? No. That, like, people fail to realize that the rumors and shit don't affect me. The only thing that affects me is when it's real life situations. Like, if it's my daughter, if it's my girl, when I read shit and they have shit up there about me and my girl, that's not true. And me and my girl would just be, like, in the bed laughing at this shit, you know. Or, you know, I had a dumbass bitch that fucking got mad because I kicked her out of the section of my out of my VIP because she was filming me and had a bright light on me and just not giving me my privacy and everybody's cameras is on me. Everybody knows that I'm the headline and, and, and because of that, you know, she decided to tweet my girl a picture of me in a section for the women saying once a dog, always a dog. Like, shit like that, when you're doing those type of things to affect a person's life, like, then that's when I have to step out and protect that shit and let motherfuckers know, like, yo, there's a difference. There's a cutoff point between what's entertainment and what's real. Like, coming into my personal space bringing that type of energy I'm not tolerating that like I'm just it's just certain shit that I'm not gonna tolerate you know what I'm saying and you know I'm labeled as crazy when I snap or I'm labeled as he needs help we're praying for him like by all means like I appreciate the prayers you know what I'm saying like I appreciate the prayers but at the same time you don't even know what the fuck you're praying for like, you know what I'm saying like, you don't even know what you're praying for you're just praying because you're letting everything that the media is doing and the media is driving, you're allowing them to put this thing, this, this, this thing in your head of me. And I just feel like that shit is not fair. Like until you're really around me and you really hang out with me or spend time with me, you'll notice that I'm not that guy. Like I've hung out with so many people and they're like, yo, you're nothing like what I read. I'm like, yeah, because their job is to tell lies and sell stories. My job is to bring you the facts. The facts is I'm nothing like what they say I am. The fact is, I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy. The fact is, I am a peaceful, humble motherfucker. 
But don't think for one second that I won't turn the fuck up if you press the wrong button. I think we all have that button in us that if you press it, we will go there. You know, I have my moments where I can be arrogant. And when I'm arrogant, Bell, that's just a rapper in me. I can't help that. You know, I, I've been designed that way. I don't know one rapper that's not cocky. You know, when I decided to give out cash away on my, on my cash app, they thought I was crazy. Travis Scott decides to do it. They don't say he's crazy. You know what I mean? He decided to give out 100000 I decided to... I was the first motherfucker to give away bread to his fans on the cash app. When I do it, he's spiraling out of control. He's giving away his fortune. He's giving away millions. Travis does it. It's a beautiful situation. He's helping kids go to... Like, I feel like people pick and, pick and choose who they want to... Hoorah! And who they want to shoot down and not understand it. Every time they point they point their gun at me and keep shooting at me, it only turns me into... It, 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 it turns me into a defensive person where I feel like I have to defend my throne now. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I'm a fucking legend, period. I'm an icon, period. I just seen Joel Embiid say, you know, he thanked Kanye, Kobe Bryant, and me. You know, like, that was fucking crazy that to wake up and read that the day after TMZ releases this fucking press release that I just went bonkers on set and thrashed over 150 grand worth of camera work and all of this different type of shit and it's only so much that a nigga can take yo I'm on this island all by myself I'm battling I'm battling I'm battling it's only so much that a nigga can take you know I feed everybody around me you know I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to make sure everybody eating you know my, my boy want a car I'm trying to make sure I, I get out here and hustle and do what I gotta do cause I wanna make sure my nigga get that car you know what I'm saying? We made sure my mom's Porsche got paid off. We made sure my aunt car got paid off. Uh, you know, sometimes I do parties and just get a fucking, my back in the way to my homie. Like, you know, I did this party just to give this to you. You know, I, I'll take a walkthrough and be like, cool. I'm gonna do this. I, I did four bookings. I did like eight parties in a month. Cool, I racked up like 100,000 in just party money. So I might just do a party for 10 racks and just BM hunt and go five grand. Like I've done parties for my friends just to give them money. Like I, I, I'm really like on an island alone, and people don't understand how that how that feels when you're under the, 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 the under the spotlight. Like I've been in the spotlight since a child. And whether you call it child, so whatever it is, child star syndrome, whatever this shit is not normal, bro. Like it's not normal that. I can't sit in first class without a motherfucker. Like, you know how paranoid I am when, I, when I'm when i on the airplane? I get paranoid so much. And like, I don't even be knowing where, it, where that shit be coming from. But like, I just get paranoid so much. A dog is huge. Fuck, that's a huge dog. But um, I get paranoid a lot. You know, and I think a lot of my, my paranoia and my fears come from, like, I think of me being who I am and the uncertainty. Like, a lot of times when I'm going to places I've never been before, I get anxiety, you know. I don't know what's going to happen. Every time I'm in a nightclub and y'all see me in there, I'm paranoid because I don't know everybody in here. I don't know if somebody's coming to harm me. I don't know if this person's coming to do what or if this person, like, I don't, I don't know. My mind is just always constantly moving. And you would think because a lot of people are like, yo, dog, you're bow wow. Like, look at your life. Like, look how you live. Like, fucking mansions and fucking private lakes and fish and golf courses. And I mean, yeah, all this shit is dope. But when you've had this shit your whole life, I mean, pretty much, it's, this shit is meaningless. It's worthless. It doesn't mean anything. It's not worth anything. I'm searching for peace. You know, that's the main thing I'm really searching for out here is, 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 is just peace. You know? It's funny how you can have like all the money in the world, but yet still be unhappy. Like the most richest people in America are not happy. You know why? Because you can buy things just for the time being, but the things that mean the most that you can't buy, it's so hard. Like being famous, it's like when they say sell your soul and they talk Illuminati talk and they talk about like, for instance, with me, they say, okay, he's spiraling out of control because the demons, he, he, he gave his life to Satan. And they talk all this crazy shit about celebrities. And I think that whole theme is like, you do sell your soul. You know, you ask for all of this shit, but then you don't know, like, the 
the bullshit that's gonna come with it. You know, I just told somebody the other day, I'm like, I always wanted to do what I do and I love what I do, but at the same time, it's hard for me to, to have a, you know, if you look at my life, then you've known that it was always hard for me to keep a relationship. It's hard for me to keep my relationships private. It's hard for me to go out in public. I can't get peace. I've, I've, there's been times where I've been pissing in the stall and somebody will come up to me, not even pissing, and just like, you know, I know you're pissing, but when you're done, like, can I have an autograph or can I have a picture? And it's like, you know, yeah, you get the, the, the riches, the fame, the bitches, the power, but also the things that in life that you need to succeed, the things that you need as a human being, you can't have them. You know, pure love, pure happiness. You know, I, I I've never... I've never been down Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I would love to walk down Bourbon Street. I would love to walk down Hollywood Boulevard. I've never done it. I haven't even seen the stars before, you know? I've never been I've never been to a prom. I've never been to a school dance before. I've never I've never experienced none of this shit in my life. There's so many things that I can't get or or buy back because it's gone. But yet people look at me and it's like, but you're blessed. You get to travel around the world. You get to see all of these great people. I've met Obama. I've walked with Michelle Obama. I've met, you know, I've been on private jets with Janet Jackson and Jermaine Dupri. I've done so much. Yes, I'm blessed. But none of that shit make me happy. I'm still out here searching. And when people see me lash out and act out, it's because I'm searching. 